What's up everyone, it's Cyber9 8610 and today we have some Yu-Gi-Oh news over Legacy of the Valiant. Today we have all of the TCG premieres, or world premieres, whatever you prefer to call them, and uh, let's go, let's talk about all 10 of them. First off, you already knew about the sneak preview promo, that counts as one of the 10, so yeah, we knew about that one like first, I guess, out of a lot of different ones, even before the OCG ones. Uh, scrolling past the OCG imports, there we go. All right, now for the world premieres. We have, of course, the Noble Knight cards. We've already talked about these, but I feel like I should go ahead and uh, remind you guys about them. There's also the first Monarch. This is a card we haven't talked about yet. Uh, basically, more Monarch support. This set actually does have some Monarch support, so I, I found that to be pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm not going to read off the effects of all these cards, too. I'm going to kind of give brief summaries, and I'll have a link in the description for this page where you can read them all for yourself. But, basically, it's just another way to... Uh, Bring out monarchs easier, of course. Uh, it's a pretty interesting uh, trap card. Well, I believe it's supposed to be secret rare, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, uh, I really like the artwork too. I'm gonna assume that the artwork is like the Mega Caius. Um, that's what he looks like. I don't know. I wonder if Caius. I'm gonna assume he's gonna be the last Mega Monarch to be released. I bet he will be the strongest as well. Also, we have Ghost Trick Yeti. Uh, this one's pretty cool because it's more of a defensive uh, Ghost Trick, of course, because uh, the good defense, like having a 2,000 defense for that. Also, when it's flip face up, you can target a Ghost Trick monster on the field, and this turn it cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. So yeah, I think this one could be uh, pretty useful. I don't know. Uh, level 3, and I, I freaking love the artwork. I mean, that's the main reason I like this card, honest, in all honesty. Uh, but yeah, I think it could be a pretty useful card for them. It's one I would like to test out. Uh, Bujingi Palv... Calvo, I think is how you say it. I thought it was going to be a uh, Virginia Turkey. I think it was another name people. So I don't know if that is Palvo supposed to be the English name or not. I'm not really 100% sure on that uh, at this moment. Anyway, uh, this seems like a pretty good uh, card, of course, for uh, Bujin monsters because uh, when it's discarded from a hand to the graveyard, you can special summon a Bujin monster from your deck. And then, uh, of course, you can only uh, use the effect of it once per turn. So yeah, it's just a great way, I guess, to get the Bujin monster you need. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I don't have much to say on it. I wonder if they're going to actually use it or not. So yeah, I wonder what all they're going to be doing. Because I know Vigions are going to be freaking scary this format. Anyway, with all the freaking things. I mean, you can barely kill the dang things. <laughs> with all, they have like four honests basically and all that other stuff. So yeah, it's scary to see them even get more support. That looks pretty good. Uh, I guess the main card a lot of people want to talk about. And that is Gravekeeper's Heretic. Uh, so yeah, this is a level 4, 1,800 attack, 1,500 defense, and it has a very simple effect, so I'll read that off. It's that uh, this card is unaffected by other card's effects as long as Necro Valley is on the field. Of course, uh, I remember seeing on Facebook too a lot of people talking about how this would get a boost from Necro Valley, but evidently it wouldn't because it's unaffected by all uh, card effects. So yeah, I know some people were saying that it would have like, what was it, 2,300 attack and stuff. Evidently they won't work because, of course, unaffected by all effects. That includes Necro Valley itself. Uh, still a very cool card though. It looks like it's going to be a pain to get rid of. I, I love the new Gravekeeper support and I can't wait to see what they're going to do this format. I would love to see them end up topping and uh, doing really well this format. Also, the guy kind of looks like Bakura, or at least to me. I don't know. Right, we also have uh, Sylvan Miko Orange. Mick Orange? I don't know how you would really say that. <laughs> I like the artwork though. I gotta say, it's like an orange, like. I don't know. It's like an orange person, I guess. <laughs> I can't really think of a better word for it. Uh, so yeah, more support for them, of course. More plant support. I, I'm still wondering what these are going to be able to do, this archetype. It looks like a lot of fun, and it looks like some interesting support for it. So yeah. Let's see. Powered Insectatron. This is what everyone thought. Insectors, they're getting a synchro. And not so much. <laughs> well, they never really had a tuner monster, so I don't know why everyone would think they'd get a synchro. Now, if they if they also, you know, printed a tuner in the set, then I would understand that. Uh, but yeah, I guess you could use this with Insectors. I <laughs> guess it's not stopping you from doing that. Uh, it's generic, though. It requires one tuner, one or more non-tuner monsters, and I'll read off its effects since it's a short effect. That is, uh, when this card is synchro summoned, this turn it cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. Also, you take no damage. Uh, not too bad. 2,500 attack. I can see this card being pretty useful. I mean, you can try it out in some other decks, too. It has a nice effect, plus, of course, it's machine. So, with all the new machine support we're getting, like, with, you know, and then limiter removal work with it. And, uh, honest, because it is light. So, I can see this card being a, a pain to get rid of, really. So, yeah, not bad. Not an Insector Synchro, but not a bad Synchro, I will say. 
and I believe, yes, this is our last one we have to talk about, and that is Obedient School. This is one that I'm pretty interested in. It's a normal spell type card, and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, read off its effect. If you control no monsters, special summon three level two or lower beast type effect monsters with different names from your deck. Uh, their effects are negated and they're destroyed during the end phase. If you activate this card, you cannot special summon for the rest of the turn except beast type monsters. So yeah, as you can see, I guess it's mainly something that you would use with Fables. I would like to try it out with Tanukis uh, because you could get uh, number uh, 64 out easier. It's too bad that Dark Mess, you know, is not a beast type and it says that, you know, it has to be a beast type later on. But I guess you get an instant uh, number uh, 64. So I wouldn't mind testing out in that. Uh, also, one thing that annoys me on this card, but I, I see why they did it because it would be broken, I guess. And that is that it has to be effect monsters. Because I was thinking it'd be hilarious to use this with the dramas. But of course, it's it's probably a good thing that they added that to it. Because yeah, you'd use this Delta Hurricane. I guess that would be unfair, but it would just be hilarious. See Ojama's like topping everything or doing really well. Uh, so yeah, what do you guys think about these new cards? I think they're alright. I think there's you know a pretty good amount. I think we have uh, some pretty good ones. I like the Synchro is the main one I want. Of course, Obedience Schooled, and uh, of course the Noble Knights. I, I think they're pretty good. I, I like the uh, Noble Arms card a lot better than the uh, other one. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what these cards are gonna do. As always, uh, thank you for watching. Remember to comment and subscribe. We'll have. Uh, when we have the whole card list, I'll have another video for that, of course. And also, I might do another video kind of reviewing kind of what cards are in the set. So if you guys want to see that, of course, tell me in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. All the info will be in the description if you read the cards for yourself. And I will catch you guys later. See ya.